Welcome to First Time Studios. This is a Gibson Les Paul and it's probably the best guitar I've ever played by a mile. They sound fantastic, they're known for their sustain. of guitars over the years in fact there's about what are there in here eight or nine ten I don't know there's a load in the house a load in the other studio um, and no matter what guitar I play I've got some great guitars you know my Telecaster's wonderful my Strat wonderful Chapman wonderful and then I pick this up and I'm like oh what a dream to play I do think Les Paul's are a masterpiece though um, obviously Fender style guitars, they're, they're like guitar Lego. Nothing wrong with that, they're fantastic, you can swap everything on them, like you know, you can change a neck on them. Good luck changing a neck on this. I mean, it's doable, but what a mess. Um, but these are a masterpiece. It's a carved top guitar, so the top of the guitar has a carve on it. It's a big slab of mahogany with a, a bit of maple on top, sometimes two pieces. I, mean, I don't know how many pieces this is made out of, I think it's two. Yep, there's a join in the middle. In fact, this is two. I think it's generally two. Not that you can see on a solid color guitar like this. Um, the neck angles back, so as you can see that, the neck angles. So when you're playing the guitar, it sort of wraps around you just a tiny bit, but it makes a big difference. Angled headstock, which means you don't need string trees to hold the strings down so they don't buzz. A lot of people say the headstocks angle back a bit too much. Epiphone don't angle them quite as much. Um, so the strings can get stuck in the nuts a tiny bit when you're tuning, but I haven't really had any problem, not to the point where I'd care, um, but that's me personally. This one has the Grover style tuners, I did change them, it did come with clues and ones. These just look better, they feel nicer, just a better tuner. Anyway, the guitar, absolute masterpiece. Two volumes, two tones, one for each pickup, three-way selector switch, so it can be on one pickup, the other pickup, or both, very clever. They look amazing, they feel really nice. It's not too heavy, I know some can be really heavy. This one's eight and a half lubs, which isn't too bad. I think that's about four and a bit kilos. It's a nice weight, you know you're holding a guitar, it doesn't feel too light, but it's not so heavy you think, oh, I'm gonna die. Um, maybe if you are worried about the weight, try one before you buy it, and buy the one that is a nice weight because they can be extremely heavy. They sound fantastic, they're known for their sustain. Um, something I've never been too fussed about because I've never picked up a guitar and thought, oh, this doesn't have enough sustain, I can't play this. But a lot of people attribute that to the neck joint because the neck's glued in, which I don't know if I believe because if that was true, surely everyone would be gluing in the necks on their strats and telecasters to make it sustain more. So I don't think it is the neck joint. Maybe it is. Who knows? I don't care. Does it sound good? Of course it sounds good. Just a fantastic sounding guitar, which is why it's sort of my go-to instrument. Obviously, sometimes it stays on the wall for a couple of weeks and I'm playing other things like my Telecast for the last couple of weeks or my Strat. Um, but every time I pick this up, I'm just, just feels like an amazing guitar. Just feel the body resonate through you when you play. Feels really nice. Like I said, the angled neck just, don't know. It's got a shorter scale length than um, a Fender. I think Fender's, I should know this because I make guitars. Uh, I think Fender's 25 and a half inch and this is 24 and three quarters. Three quarters of an inch makes a difference. Um, just everything feels a little bit more, I don't know, just feels, it's an absolute pleasure to play this guitar. A lot of people have a problem with uh, this bit not being particularly rounded and there's no spoon cut, so you have to fight a bit up the top end. Gotta be honest, I don't care. Couldn't care less. Never had any problems with anything like that. 
In fact, I don't think there is anything I would change in this guitar, apart from the tuners, which I've already changed. And if you haven't tried Les Paul, definitely try one, because you'll probably buy it. Epiphone ones are almost as good, I'd say. The American ones like this, this is this is only a studio. I scratched off all the paint around the edge. It looks like it's got binding, and then I um, sprayed it with nitrocellulose, I think. Um, just that edging bit, just so it doesn't wear off, because bare wood in your arm doesn't feel too nice. This is only a studio. These are about 12 or 1300 pounds new. I picked this up for 500 pounds off eBay. It was a, a couple of years ago or a few years ago when um, Gibson were getting a load of stick. This is a 2005, so 500 quid delivered with a hard case. Absolute bargain. You don't think you're going to do that now. I mean, you barely pick up a used uh, Fender Player Telecaster for that. And don't know why they're so expensive. You could buy a new one for pretty much that price. So Fender Player Telecasters. I think you should buy one because they seem to hold their value very well. But back to the Gibson. Yeah, definitely try one. The Epiphone ones don't feel quite as nice because these are sprayed with nitrocellulose. The Epiphone ones are sprayed with polyurethane. As much as I'd like a Gibson Les Paul standard, I would have to take this to the shop at the same time and make sure that the standard plays better than this because I've played to Gibson Les Paul standards in fairness and maybe I'm just particularly lucky with how this one's set up. But would I pay two grand for a guitar when when I've got this? Probably not. So if you can get a good used one, definitely get it. Another thing with this that people tend to have a little moan about, because the headstock leans back, if you knock it over, it's probably going to snap because if it's if it was a dead straight neck, the neck wouldn't take all the impact, but it sort of would land flat. But with this, when it hits the floor, it's going to hit here and then the headstock's probably going to snap off. Don't drop your guitar. There's a little tip. Or put it in a stand. Don't lean it up against the amp, so don't pull it like that because it can slide and go. Just don't. A, a good stand's 15 quid and I haven't snapped a guitar headstock yet and I've got kids. There's definitely going to be a crisis, but it's not really a reason to, <laughs> to say something negative about a guitar, so I don't know, don't know why people do. As for the new Gibsons, that new CEO, I think he's made some great changes. I've seen the new Gibson range, I've played a couple. I mean, not as many as I'd like to because lockdown happens so you can't really get out. You have to book slots in guitar shops to go and actually try the stuff. But yeah, he made some good changes. You know, Gibson have been making guitars with a few little problems for years. This is 2005 and it, well, it's faultless. I can't find anything wrong with it. But they had problems with, you know, finish and this new CEO comes in and he puts in like proper lighting. So he walks in and goes, well, why, why are these, why is the light so bad? Do you want to try and put a good finish on a guitar and you can't see it? He just made some changes like that, made it so less people handled it. He sorted out a lot of things and Gibsons have gone through the roof again. So even used ones cost a fortune. Gibson Les Paul. I don't think anyone would ever regret buying one. I just can't see how. I mean, I might be biased because I absolutely love this guitar. I've got a lot of other guitars, so I'm allowed to be biased. This is my favorite one. It plays the best, it feels the best. I um, don't know if it sounds the best. The pickup, the front pickup can be a bit muddy when you put on the gain, but who cares? Just, you know, work with it, go with it. Thanks for watching, I hope that was helpful. <laughs> it must be feeding back. Thank you.